Nowadays, it's pretty easy to do a quick Google search for a name and find out quite a lot of info about someone. It's scary how much of my personal information is accessible, especially since I would consider myself pretty limited in the personal data I put out there. However, data brokers collect and then sell your information to scammers, spammers, advertisers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, cell phone, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it's all out there and easy to find. That's why I've started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, or other sensitive information. I don't know if you saw this, but AT&T recently revealed that over 73 million customer records, both existing and former customers, were released on the dark web. AT&T recommends those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. Well, Aura does this all for me. And best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because a company couldn't keep my data secure. To help you secure your data, Aura is offering my viewers a 14-day free trial at my special link down in the description at aura.com slash fgcms. Now back to the video and what I do best. Come for the board. Go ahead. What's going on, man? Since after the storm. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. <laughs> no, definitely not. Where are we heading? Uh so right outside the anchorage over here, you'll see a 27, a Catalina 27 with no roller furler. Oh, okay. Can we get a bridle out? Uh, probably. Now are we going up to Bayshore Garden Marina? Yes, sir. Do we have a slip there? So it's going on the hard tomorrow. I okay. got a slip for my 34 there. And I, um, so like it's near Marina, so they don't have an actual travel lift, so they get like a crane. Yeah. Done yeah. a few of those before there. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I've been on the uh, the list, and then like another guy wanted to pull out, so I'm like, let's do it. Yeah, saying if you can get a couple together, it helps right. with that fee. Exactly. So, so we're just putting it on the T dock or along the seawall? I, I gotta call Jose and route. Uh, okay. He, he was saying right near. Uh, he wasn't really. I was like, hey, if you're not gonna, he's gonna try to be there. But uh, I'm thinking right where wherever the boats get pulled out, so you. Kind of know the area yeah so usually out. we put them they put them like right when you come in the marina right on that left side on the seawall yeah, yeah that's they, usually I, where they pull them out so there's really no good place to tie it up there right so yeah, i got i got fenders and i'm gonna come back with my truck anyways and um and probably like grab the anchors put some because i have more fenders in my barn okay so i got i got plenty of gear I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if there's actual cleats on that seawall or not. I, I think I think there might be. I never really paid too much attention. Yeah. I mean, last time I did this, was putting a boat in, so they basically put it in. And I was tied up right next to it. Oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, definitely a little bit more involved dropping a boat than normal. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine with a crane. But it's pretty but cool I, to watch. Yeah. 
Yeah, travel lift makes life easy, but they don't. So they have like kind of a travel lift on the other side, but that's for boats up to like, I think 25 feet. So, but it's not a travel lift really. That, you, I was thinking before, so that's like a lift once it's, once you get the boat out of the water, you can put it on this thing. It's like a gantry crane. Oh, okay. But uh, I was thinking like, you can like launch that with a tow, like a tow hookup, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, no, we don't do that. That would be a cool way to do it. But I, I can see it would get rusty and stuff. Yeah, I, the day before I came out and added an extra chain, a 65 foot of chain and extra anchor. Nice. So, well, at least you'd end up like the guy over there or the big sailboat back there. Oh, I know. There's like <laughs> five of them. This one, too. That one sunk right there, this, this storm. But I need to thin the herd, man. I got a 23 in my backyard. I got a, I got a sunfish and a taser in my backyard. <laughs> that 34 in the slip and this 27. At least wanna, those are small boats. Yeah, the ones in my backyard for sure. But I want to... Um, this guy, he's he, he rode it out on the water. Really? You know, in the 42. Wow. That needs some work, but I'm thinking of working a deal, sell, selling this, and then trading with that, and giving them like 20 cash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I guess they pull like six figures at like the 42 that's done up nice. Yeah. So. You must have got a lot of calls out this morning, I'm guessing, huh? We didn't get <laughs> We had like two jobs, and that was it. With how much rain we had, I mean, yeah. we had more jobs from both sinking after thunderstorms this year than we did after a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if it's just with the winds not being so bad if people are going down to check on their boats constantly. Because usually after a storm we get probably half a dozen that have sunk at the dock because the bilge pump just hasn't been able to keep up with the rain. Right. So, I don't know. So how, that's probably not your scope of practice. You know that big boat that broke off the mooring? the city yeah that's an insurance thing right yeah you guys don't do insurance right uh we do so oh, okay. any anything other than a tow or like a simple grounding is not covered by the policy that would go through insurance right right yeah that's what i figured it's, but we you have to have insurance to be on the ball yeah but i we, got insurance because i had to go to marina yeah. there's one covered. up here yeah this one right here I have a build pump on board, but not hooked up. Oh, okay. It's been out like the day before the storm, so. And my apologies, I don't have a wind list, but I will expedite that task. I no worries. Not, there's only two of them. Well, I'll pull you forward, right. make it a little easier for you. Yeah, so there's like a bridle, then I put like a ball, and then two anchors with swivel. Okay. They're not too bad. We've had some like 40s, mid 40s that don't have a windlass <laughs> or they have a windlass it's just not working <laughs> right i i bought a windlass for the 34 but I, I didn't even install it yet so i might just keep it i gotta see if this is he, he wants to work out a deal with that one so if that one doesn't have a windlass i might work with you oh, someone wants to check on it i asked him to check on it so that's good When they're above the floorboard, that's never a good sign. What was that? When, when the water's above the floorboard, that's never a good sign. Yeah. Uh, you need uh, a boat hook? No, I'm just thinking, what do you want us to tie off to? Um, I got two cleats in the front. Uh, just to tie, tie off to the side for now. Um, I've got any cleats there. Yeah, I don't really, I'm, I'm installing cleats before I sell okay. it too. When it's uh, let's do a bow line, Bobby will go off that bow cleat. Just leave that kind of loose because I'll come back on Actually, it. Actually, you, you can probably even take that one off because it works. That, that one's tied off on the other side, so it's up to you guys if you want to take the other line off. Can I yeah, you can get off. Yeah, before you tie that off, I'll just so raise up that fender. Yeah, yeah. Just raise that fender up, wrap it around the cleat a couple times. What was that? 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna go build. It. Well, I can pull the anchor and do that in route too. It's up to you, but I'm just gonna go hook up the battery if that's okay. Yeah, that's you fine. want me to do this now. You want me to do this tight? Uh, leave it a little loose. We'll bring the stern back. Hey, you can tie it off there. water in there. Uh, enough that it's not just sitting in the bilge. Yeah, we'll go with a bridle. But we'll wait on that till he gets situated. Yeah, I'm ready for you. Well, technically, we can't tow the boat with water in it, okay. so we got to get that. Well, luckily, I'm refinishing the woodwork. That's good. <laughs> I did buy some bird netting. I'm thinking like, if I'm doing this by myself, I can string it between here and the front. So, Captain, yes, sir. It's well below like three inches into the bill. Is that good enough? I can uh, build the rest of it and rattle? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, bird netting, huh? You're getting creative. I figured I'd try it. Just, just in case you lose it? Well, no, I'm thinking like if. What would be the. I have to do it in tow. Like if I do a grounder or something. And, have it. and then I have to actually tow them somewhere. I can't just like stop and catch the thing. And so this way I can have it like... You're scoop it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sick. You know, I'll that's set snap, there. Snapping propellers? Yeah, we're all set. You want it up there? So, yeah. Uh, is it okay if I take off the, the port side bridle? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yep. I might have to disconnect this. Yeah, that's thing. fine. Yeah, you can just drop that. Well, I tightened it up because I didn't want it moving. I'll drop drop this. Yeah, thing. you can drop it. Mine. I adjusted it so it wouldn't accidentally slip off with the wind. Give it this one first. Put this one on. Yeah, we'll go to the center. You want me to like, start disconnecting this line now, or? Yeah, uh, we can pull you forward and make it a little easier for you. Just hold off on that for a minute, Bobby. Right. Let me get this up.
<laughs> Before you leave, you can just get the other, yeah. other side of that bridle set up. <clears throat> you can untie that, Bobby. Do you want to get a full wrap around the post first before you go over the uh, side? There you go. Alright, we'll start with that for now. <laughs> he sure did. He said he got his workout this morning. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to give him a call now. Do you want to drop that fender a little bit, Bobby? Sorry, I, I didn't know we, we came in this fast. I didn't either. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. I mean, the wind was to our tail. Let it loose a little bit, Bob. I know my cruiser had like a seven knot displacement hull speed. This one, I we think. We were talking about that. Yeah, <laughs> we were doing about six and a half, and it definitely looked like it was about maxing out there. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> know what the twenty-seven is. It's not as capable. I, I, someone even said they got they got the like I got a Seidelman thirty-four. Someone said they got it eight and a half knots. So oh wow. I don't know. I don't believe that, but whatever. Yeah. You were definitely starting to dig in. We were started at about seven, and it yeah. was definitely it was, it digging was one down. Spot. I was like, "Am I gonna get a little wet?" <laughs> I've heard of horror stories where they actually sink, but I've never seen that. You know, you'll get a good splash, the nose goes up, it comes back up. And yeah. I think it's here, but we're early. Yeah, this is where they put them, but I don't see any cleats. Yeah, I don't think it's said there. Yeah. Which I mean, we're we're pulling out at zero weight. Uh, tomorrow, so I'm yeah, a land lover in that regard. I like, you know, like last full moon I was out sailing. Yeah. Plane, you know? But daytime is definitely better for boating. Most definitely. 
I sold my bow rider though a while back. I got into sailing. Like I always sailed, but I like back in the day it was like the sunfish and stuff. You know what? You know what motivated me? That movie True Spirit. Oh, yeah. You ever saw it? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, that's good. I mean, Hollywood has fun. I'm never gonna search now to be. I'll do a Bahamas run. Yeah. The crossing? Yeah. Not that that guy's a boat bum. He's real cool, that guy Kenny, but he's got a 42 foot sailboat. He, like, doesn't have the financial means to maintain it on it at an adequate level. Yeah. He might work somehow, too. That's what I'm guessing. Good. Yeah, if you just want to give him a call and see, I'll move you over to the seat. Uh, if you need one, you can. But. Okay, I'll just lightly tie a, tie a line around the pylon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll sit here for a minute and see if he wants you over at that seawall. It's going to be a long toss for a line if you got to get it over there and drag it. <laughs> oh, I got a monkey fist at home. I, I really do. Yeah, last time I did this, I put the crane right at the end of this uh, I here. I never actually used a monkey fist, so I, w I wanted to use it, you know what I mean? <laughs>